Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel. Are you looking for that dark and spooky tarot deck that's zombified? Keep watching as I review Tarot Z. Buckle up everyone because this is going to be a dark and spooky ride. I had an itch for a zombie tarot deck. I had purchased Tarot Z before I did the zombie tarot, which I will link my review in the cards above. Anywho, Tarot Z is a very dark deck. It is a deck that you would work more with uh, during the spooky season and when you want to do shadow work. So it comes in this great box. It is a low scarabeo deck. It pulls open like this, revealing a very creepy high priestess. And on the other side, it shows the lovers. So the guidebook is actually a really good guidebook. It is, um, of course, it has like five, six different languages. Um, the first one being English. This was an interesting read overall because the meanings of the cards go their own way in this book. Um, it is kind of a narrative deck, but not really. It talks about, you know, you reading this as you're in the apocalypse yourself. Um, overall, um, this is a guidebook that you will definitely need when you work with the cards, since it is um, a deck that goes its own way regarding the illustrations. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the backs of the cards is what I really love most about this deck. And also the card stock is this very thick, um, not too bendy um, card stock. It is a little glossy, but it is um, one of my favorite card stocks. Uh, so here we go. Um, as you can see, it is a very gloomy, dark, very spooky vibe. And, you know, I don't expect anything less when it's called Tarot Z. It is very dark. Um, like I said, you have to be in the mood for this. Some of the cards actually like look like the RWS illustrations, whereas some of the cards you'll have to like do a double take um, to see what you're getting, because of course you have the Roman numerals, so it's not going to say what the card name is. I love this hermit. Um, so yeah, so whenever you pick up this deck and you work with it, um, be prepared for a dark reading. And as I said, it's great for shadow work, which I really don't work on as much. Um, but if you are a person who really dives into shadow work, I believe this is a great deck to have. Um, and the guidebook is going to help you um, translate the cards to the meanings. As you can see, this deck is dark, it's twisted, and it's really zombified. Um, I wish I liked this deck more than I do. 
I really can't connect with the majority of these cards and I really have to be in the mood to pick this up. Um, my, I guess my main complaint about this deck is that the miners are a little, if not a lot, far-fetched from the traditional images of the RWS system. If you are like me and you really go off the image itself, you're going to have a hard time. Like, this is the Two of Pentacles. I'm not getting Two of Pentacles at all. Here is the Three, which is all about collaboration, and you only get one zombie. It's just a deck that really goes its own way, and I really appreciate that. It's just I really can't connect with it. And the port cards, you know, I've, I've always struggled with court cards, and this just makes it a little worse. If you appreciate this artwork and you are into shadow work, I actually think this deck is great for you. If It's a great deck to pull out for spooky season, of course. But the, my main pros is definitely the cardstock. I love this thick cardstock and the majors aren't bad at all actually i really like the majors because since this deck kind of sticks to the traditional um, illustrations although you do have to take a couple glances back at the card and say oh yeah i do i do have the temperance card here um and then also the other pro that i really like is the um the guidebook it it's very immersive it puts you right in the apocalypse and it's great that it explains what's going on in the card, even though, you know, like I said, it doesn't really follow the traditional RWS system. But like I said, if you enjoy this artwork and you enjoy the theme of dark, gritty zombie flicks, I believe this is right up your alley. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know if you have this deck and what are your thoughts on it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.